gonna be good. Look at that. This is gonna be good. You gonna take your cinnamon rolls? Yep. Look at that. Mm -hmm. oh, this is a very unique. We need two items. Is that all? That's all you need. And you're saving the icing for later. Yes. After it bakes. That's not cinnamon side up, is it? It is. It's oh, just okay, just you... missing a little bit. Yeah, some of them. We got our second one. Ooh. I'm really excited about these. It looks so good. Oh my Let's keep them a little closer together yeah. so we can get all. Look at that. I'm just going to scrunch. Just scrunch that last one in there. Right, we just get it in here somewhere. Look at that. Here, let me see that. Okay. Wow. I'm going to bake it 375 for 35 minutes. 375 for 35 minutes. Mm. Hang it. Put it in the oven. Wait. Yum. Okay, you're gonna take a stick of butter, put it in your iron skillet, mm -hmm. and let it be melting. Okay. While your oven is preheating. Is our butter melted? It oh, is. look at that. You got it? Mm-hmm. Sorry, Look at okay. that. Butter's nice melting. Buttery. Check we melt our butter. One cup of milk. <clears throat> pour in the skillet. Mm. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, then we're going to take a cup of um, self rising flour. Run in here. While I'm doing that, I'm going to take a cup of sugar. Mm hmm. Half a cup. And then the fruit of your choice. Today we're using strawberries. Strawberries. Let's get them steered up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's enough. Okay. Looks good. Right now we're ready for our berries. Or whatever we decide to use strawberries. Mm -hmm. You can use whatever. Mm -hmm. And we got some shredded, some smaller ones we're going to use yes. after. Oh, I think this is going to turn out really good. Oh, it will be delicious. Top it with some good old Cool Whip. Mm-hmm. Mother's Day coming up this weekend. Okay, then we're going to take some little ones. Just kind of put them up out. Mm-hmm. You're gonna let it bake at 350. For about what, 45, 45 minutes? 45 minutes and then check it. You can tell when it's all done. Yeah, it's looking Be really good. Be careful not to touch your iron skillet. Cause it's hot. Still hot, hot. yeah. Okay. Ooh, that looks scrumptious. It does look really good. Okay, we'll have to let you open the mm -hmm. door for me. Stick it in there. All right, what do we got here, Kim? We're gonna make a peach cobbler. Take a stick of butter, mm -hmm. put it in your pan, and have it in the oven melting while you're mixing up your cobbler mix. Mm. Put it here to melt. First. Take out a cup of flour. Mm -hmm. And we're just making like the base for the cobbler yes. pretty much. This is a cup of sugar. Mix those two together. It's gonna kind of combine. Mm -hmm. You're gonna add a cup of milk. This is like an easy man's yes, cobbler. Yes, it is an easy man cobbler. Okay, our butter is all melted. Oh, it really, really yes. melted. Just one stick of butter. Mm -hmm. Put it right there. Ooh, that pan is hot, hot. Yes. Then take your 
mixture of sugar, flour, and milk, mm -hmm. and just dump it in the pan. Okay. Okay. Does it need to be like whisked together or anything? No, mm -mm, just do it like that. Okay. Then you're gonna take two, you can take two small cans or one large can of mm -hmm. peaches, and you're just gonna dump it in here. Okay. And then, we've got one left in here. Can I spread that out a little bit? Okay, just like that. Don't have to do it any more than that. And then I'm sure. Some, I'm positive. Okay. Take some cinnamon and take a little bit of cinnamon, or you take cinnamon or cinnamon sugar. Mm -hmm. Look at that. And that's it. And then you're gonna bake it on 350 for about 45 minutes. You can tell. Put it in the oven. Nope, it's so hot. It's yeah. okay, I got it. I got it. It's just an easy cobbler recipe. Tastes delicious with vanilla ice cream. Okay, we're gonna dump some apples. Mm. Our bottom layer. Six. And apple filler. Smooth it out. And we're gonna take a can of crescent rolls. Ooh. We're gonna put a layer. Down, take the other layer, put it down, get this little strip right there. Then we're going to take some uh, cinnamon sugar, a little bit of dust the dough with it. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're gonna take our second can of the apple. Well, those are like whole apples in there. Yeah. Just a quick, simple. Then we're gonna take the rest of our crescent roll. Yeah, this is a very okay. easy little dessert. Yeah. Just something quick. Mm-hmm. And you top it with ice cream after, I'm sure. Yes. Okay, let's get some more cinnamon sugar on it. We're gonna bake it, 350. We'll check it at 20 minutes. Okay, Good. just add a few little dollops or what do you call mm -hmm. them, butter. Might make that crust really good and tasty. Mm -hmm. Okay, now, put your butter on it. Mm -hmm. Let's get it in the 350. You're gonna do it for about 20 minutes and check That's out it. All right, what do we got here, Kim? Okay, we got a half a stick of butter in an eight by eight, nine by nine pan. And we're going to make a quick, easy cobbler. Make sure you have self-rising flour. We're gonna take a half a cup of flour and a half a cup of sugar. Okay, we're going to whisk that together. Okay, and then you'll add a half a cup of milk. Okay. Let's get all of it together here. We're gonna mm. pour this into the butter. It's all good and stirred up real good. No lumps. Okay. We'll pour it into the butter. Okay. We're going to add our strawberry pie filling. And you can use any pie filling, right? Yes. You can use fresh, fresh fruit, fruit. Anything you as want. As well. I like the colors. It looks really good. So this time we're adding strawberry pie filling, but we are going to put in about a half a cup of fresh strawberries. Mm. So we're gonna take our fresh strawberries and just 
Kind of throw them all over there. Yeah. Do you need to stir it or? No, no, you do not stir it and you bake it for about 45 minutes to an hour mm -hmm. at 350. Okay. So now we're ready to go in the oven. Okay. Can I see that? Look at that. That looks really good. Okay. Oh, look at that. Our strawberry cobbler. It looks so good. Throw it in the good. oven. For about 45 minutes? Yeah, 45 <laughs> minutes to an hour. Sometimes it takes, mm -hmm. should take about 45 Look minutes that. for a small one. Okay. Put in the bottom of your casserole Looks dish. good. The butter is just for taste, I guess, or? Um, yeah, butter's good in anything. Butter's good in anything. Matter. Yeah, it looks like it. Yeah, you take a bowl and we're going to two. One and a half cups of self-rising. Self Make sure it's self-rising. It's gotta be self-rising. One and a half cups, you said? Yes. Make sure it's self rising. You don't have that. You don't want your cobbler won't rise. Okay, there's one and a half cups of uh, self rising flour. Mm -hmm. And I need one and one fourth cups sugar. sugar. Okay. There's one. And two. And here's the fourth a cup. Mm -hmm. Okay, you're going to take that and just, just mix it up mix a little it kind bit. Of, yeah, mix it a little bit. Not with that, baby. You're going to use your another one. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then we're going to put. Um, one and three fourths tablespoon of cocoa. Cocoa, right here. Hershey's cocoa. I I buy Hershey brand too, though. Looks good. And, and this is a, a chocolate cobbler we're making. Yes, chocolate cobbler. It is. I've had so many. It is delicious. I cannot wait to see what the finished product looks okay, like. Okay, so now we get the cobbler. It is gonna look good. Cocoa stirred up in here. Cool. And when you're dealing with these dry ingredients, it does fly a little bit. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, and then we need to put three-fourths cup of whole milk. Whole milk, okay. Just dump it in there. Dump it in there. Like and two that. teaspoons of vanilla. Vanilla, nice. Mm -hmm. I like that. Ice yeah. cream. Oh, you like vanilla yeah, ice cream. Ice cream, yeah, you know me what? too. Jamie's this nice. dessert is delicious with a scoop of vanilla mm -hmm. ice cream on top. It really is. Okay, just stir this all together. Does it matter? Does it need to be all the powder gone? Yes, oh, yes. Got, got this is like the dumplings of a, say you did a peach cob or something, the breading, oh. this is what this is. So oh, this is the breading of yeah. it, okay. That's why I said use self-rising flour. Use mm. the mussels and get it all stirred up good. Oh, that's looking good. Okay. Now, let that sit there for a minute. Okay. You're going to take a another bowl. Another bowl. Right and you're going to take... Bowl. One and a half cups of sugar. Of sugar. Yep. Yeah. Okay, Wait, more sugar? Yes. <laughs> yes. What are we doing more sugar for? Oh, you'll see in a minute. We're putting it in here. Um, yep. Yeah, one. Good job, Jameson. Let me get another half for you. Good job, bud. Okay, there's your half. Okay. And then we're going to take a fourth a cup, or no, half a cup of cocoa. Okay, so this is what what are you doing here? Just more cocoa powder? Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, we're doing like a big old thing of yes. cocoa this time. Yes, this time we're so doing. This is kind of probably the thing that's being drizzled over the top or something. Yes. Okay, we need one more of them, Jameson. Then go ahead and be using your. Use your thing, the little mix. Yes. Looks good, Jameson. And this here measuring cup is a fourth, so oh, okay. and we need a half. So we're doing so two. two of those. Mm -hmm. Dump. Just mix it up. Okay, get that mix up that sugar real good. I don't need your help. Oh, you don't need my help. Yes, you almost got it done. All right, so that's all whipped up and nice. Now what do we do, Kim? Okay, take your thing out. You and take, then you take this? You take your liquid. Mm-hmm. Dump on the water. And you just put it in all this Oh, wow. So you just take your dumplings and chocolate? Yeah, I bet they're chocolate. pretty much just chocolate dumplings, yeah. right? Yeah, that's what you got delicious I know that. Yeah, it's, you're getting all up in oh, there. Yeah, I don't, I don't want to waste any now. Mm -mm. This stuff, when y'all taste it, mm, it is oh, delicious. That's good. I've got all that out. We got this chocolate. Jameson, you want to lick this spoon? You want to lick the spoon? Okay, let me do all this. That looks good. Okay. Now, and then, you, and then you take your little powder, your sugar powder. I do. Now this let me do, baby, because I'm gonna put hot water and I don't want you to get burned. You take Does it matter? 
That's how you do this. You just scatter it no, all you over. Just scatter it. I this just... is just sugar and cocoa powder. Yes. So this you dish is out. just pretty much <laughs> sugar, right? If you're diabetic, you might want to sugar watch. and bread. Put this in my head. Okay, we'll get it on. And I know it does look like. Oh my goodness, how much are you? But you use a whole bowl, sprinkling across. A whole there. bowl of sugar. Well, all these that cup and a half oh of gosh. sugar. Oh gosh, that's a lot. Oh, but you can taste it. When I do that, then next, your final step is take two and a quarter cups of hot water. So boiling, you just go boiling water, and I have got water? yeah, I have got this handy feature, so I can use it. Nice. Okay, there's two. Boil water. So you take your boiling water, uh -huh. pour it on top. Oh, what is that supposed to do? Not am sure, other than it makes it delicious. Mm -hmm. It really gets the, like I don't know if you've ate hot fudge cake before, mm -hmm. all that good juicy. Mm-hmm. And then what do we do? We take it with another. Do you have to cover it or anything? Yeah. Or? Place it in the oven. Uncovered? Uncovered at 350 degrees mm -hmm. for about 40, 30 to 40 minutes. I think I okay. used 40. Blair, excuse us. Excuse us, Blair. Our helpers. Uh oh, helpers. Okay. And there we go. What's in there? <laughs> We're gonna scatter. Now we got it chilled. Okay, now. I'm just gonna pour the icing on yeah, it. Cause... Oh, wow. Look at We've that. We've warmed this a little bit in the microwave. I like it when it's a little warm. Look at that. Mmm. Mmm-mm. These are going to be delicious. And you just get a spoon to dip them out. Maybe you put a little bit more on that one. Oops. Yeah. Look at that. Okay. I can't wait. Let's, let's open one of these up. Yes, let's get us a spoon. Mm -hmm. Okay, we'll just take right. this in one out here. Oh. Make sure you get the cherries in yep. there. Mm. Good breakfast casserole. Uh -huh. Oh, we need a thing. Oh, hot. Delicious. It tastes really good. Mm -hmm. It is good. Ooh. It's been 45 minutes and it looks done. That looks really good. Oh, yes. Wow. And it smells good. Mm -hmm. Don't you wish you could smell through the fire? I know. Mm -hmm. what it looks like in there. Oh, oh yummy. My gosh. Love the dumplings. It looks good. Wow. Ooh, that looks good. Mm, now let's taste it. Well, make sure to blow on it because yeah, it looks like it might be a little hot. If it'll cool whip with it, it won't mm -hmm. matter. Mm, I'm hot. All right, what do we got here, Cam? Okay. How's it looking? Peach cobbler. Our peach cobbler. Oh, wow. Look at that. Butter on it. It looks like it's. Um, well, I think we must have um, had a little mishap. What happened here? I believe we're not at my home and I'm not familiar with this stuff sometimes. I believe we used all purpose flour instead of self rising, is why we don't have some nice peach copper. I bet it still tastes good. I bet it tastes good too, but it's not going to be fluffy yeah. and scrumptious as well. All right, let's try it up. Okay, I'm gonna try try this in oh, here. Oh yeah. See, because it, it's not that it didn't get done, it's that it's not, it's used with all purpose. I like, it looks good. It looks like a soft gelatin type. Yeah, it's just that nothing did rise. It didn't mm -hmm. have the baking soda to rise it. Mm. You know, it kind of reminds me of egg custard. Oh, see, I wouldn't eat that. What do you, what do you, how do you feel, one to 10? 
I would give it an eight. I mean, it's still good. Hmm. I can see how this one looks. It looks uh, beautiful. Yes, it does. I don't even eat apples much, but I believe I might have to try this. Look how the butter well, melted the butter, on the top. Yeah, look at that. This is just the stuff we have in the cabinet. I know, just cabinet dessert. Ooh, that looks so good. That's what good. Can't wait to top it. All right, we got our okay. apple pie. Dip us out a little piece here. Oh. Oh, look at that. Oh, that looks good. Nice and layered. Yes. And then you're gonna add some vanilla ice cream. Look at that. We got Bluebell, mm. the best ice cream around. Mmm. Now let's try this. It's a little hot. Mmm. -hmm. Mm, tastes good. Mmm. All right, let's see. And this oh. is what a cobbler's supposed to look like. Look, Look at, at that. that. Wow. Let me see. Look the scoop of a vanilla ice cream, this would be really I know. good. I wish we had vanilla ice cream. Or chocolate, even strawberry mm. chocolate ice cream. Look at those bubbles. Mm -hmm. Looking all good. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, this is good. Look at that. It's so buttery and crispy and delicious. We got to mm. blow on it. Look at that. Look at her little strawberry. Looks so bad, I can't wait. You have to blow on it because it's. Blow on it. I am. I'm just getting hard to pick up. Oh, baby, that's too big. You're gonna burn it down. Baby, you're gonna have to like cool it. How is it? It's gross. I'm joking. It's delicious. I recommend doing this. Set it for 30. Check. All right. Now you remember. Let's open the oven. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Mm, you can just smell. Oh, goodness. Well, burn your fingers. Oh, my gosh. Kim. Yes, baby. That looks really good. Oh, it's delicious. And now look. That looks good. It's melted. It does smell good, baby. You see it? It's hot. Oh, my yeah, gosh. Yeah, see the... That's right, and then you drizzle this over it. And there's your chocolate cobbler. Wow.